Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Wake Forest Demon Deacons and the Syracuse Orange. Number 23 is the key guy on this team. He's definitely someone we're going to watch out for tonight. He shows up to compete every night. When his team needs some offense, he's there to provide it. He can shoot it as well as anyone on his team. The Orange will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Orange looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. Number one, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Next, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Thirdly, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Fakes the shot. The power forward receives the ball. There was no doubt about that one. Erickson handles the pass. He up fakes. There's a bad pass right to the defender with a deep pass. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Trying to pack it inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Step out on that screener. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. Fed the low block. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Smith is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. For the bucket, perfectly executed. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. And the ball goes out of bounds. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Looking for a good shot. Inside. Coach looks on. Focus. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. A high screen. Inside. Tries to get the D to bite. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. He keeps the dribble as they reset. They get the turnover. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Moving it around the perimeter. He blocks the shot. It's a block party out there. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He's got some room. Outside jumper. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. The skip pass is picked off. 
It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. There's a high screen. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Syracuse have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Smith receives the pass. Had a momentary look from three-point land. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. He'll regroup the offense. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. He shows the sweet touch. Both teams looking to get things going here. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And sinks it. He attempts the three. Nice shot. chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, good second effort to stay with it right there. Did a great job attacking the defense. I like it when the team gets to the free-throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Takes away the pass. Arnold handles the feed. There's a double team waiting there. He makes a nice shot fake. Nice fake. Nicky's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Cue the rewind button, boys. On the outside. Back of the Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. Looks at a three. Way off target. Banks draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? At 
at the foul line. He makes the first. He misses his second shot. On the dribble, gives it up in the paint. Looking for the foul. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seems very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. He takes it away. Fast break opportunity here for two. Arnold was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Dickey still applied great pressure on the dribble. He drains the shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the shot. Puts it up, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. He gave it up. Cross court. Picked off. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Wake Forest is the third school in the triangle of North Carolina universities, not to mention the odd man out in most cases. Hey, don't let the people from Winston-Salem hear that. For two doesn't go intercepted blocked they work it around the perimeter he unloads a three you bet you Both teams looking to get things going here. He's going nowhere. Ball going nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They're working around the arc. Entry pass in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Looking to move it around the perimeter. In the paint. For two, perfectly executed. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. I'll tell you, great footwork, too, to create that opportunity. And then he's got to touch what an offensive player. Full house, 
And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. High post flashes for the opportunity. They've left him completely alone. He bombs from outside. He cleans the glass. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. High post flashes for the ball handler. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Looking for a good shot. From three-point range. Off the rim and no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Jumped in front to take it away. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. That was nice. Now they work it around the perimeter. Got a nice screen. He unloads. He gets it to go. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Stolen away. What a great strip. Hey, the crowd loved that one, Brad. But did you see the mascot? He's so excited. I think he may pull something up there jumping around like that. He's going to get hurt. Hey, don't hurt yourself, big fella. They need you to cheer. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He can't get the hoop to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. They work the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the roll. The Orange will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Steals a pass. You can't let a guy play with you like that. Hey, he puts it in your face. Take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. Mm -hmm. 
Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Here's a flash from the high post. Tries for two. They still don't score. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Up and inside. Fakes a jumper. With a bucket. And in and out. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. He attempts a jump hook. And hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Top of the circle, they work it. Rejects it. He buries it. They work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. That's basic. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one opportunity here. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Looking for a screen on top and got it. The Orange have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brady's on fire. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Perfectly executed. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. That is a personal foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He gets it to go. Second one is no good. to beat the buzzer. He misses the bomb. At halftime, the Orange are hit by 
five. This one's too close to call here at the end of the first, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Syracuse is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high-percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. He gets the bucket. Dick start of the second half, we take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Great shot. You better get rid of it, Brad. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. That's high. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> and that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up with a long bomb. Smith is receiving a lot of support from the hometown crowd. He's very popular. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Work the perimeter. Spacing's so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. It goes in. Third shot is good. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Takes away the pass. That's a foul. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He puts up the tray off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Now the high screen. You can't get away with that. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. Hey, 
They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Up fake. Tries for two. In and out. Looking for a good shot. There's the fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. There's the screen up on top. He hits it. Gave it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Good job defensively. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Jump hook from the low post. Doesn't go. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. They work it around the perimeter on the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Dump it inside. Ten on the shot clock. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that pass on the Anticipated really well. Hard foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Smith goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. Well, the arc looked good. And the free throw woes continue. This is an embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. Pump fakes. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. From three-point territory. Way off target. Up and inside. the dribble gives it up isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper 10 seconds to put it up run him right at the screen again what did I say gets the feed down low now the turnaround jumper I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. From left of the circle, Wake Forest are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Arnold was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the outside. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. The Demon Deacons are behind by seven. And a momentary look from three-point land. Double team now, bad angle. Not there.
They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Gets it to fall. Stolen away. Here they go into transition. Tries for two. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Goes in. The Demon Deacons trail by five. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Got it. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Launches away. He drains the bucket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Looks at the three. Tickles a twine. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Now they work it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. They work it around the perimeter. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He gets that one to fall. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. He fouled him. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. He misses the second shot. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. in the low block but opted against it turn around jumper I tell you what a nice turn around jump shot soft as well in fading away impossible to block stolen ball Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The fake. Stop and pop. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the arc. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets it to fall. Leans in, and he scores despite the hack. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Here's a double team. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Syracuse have a nice little run going in here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. Frank, that bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Drawing the foul and finishing the hoop. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. They work the perimeter. Up and inside. He launches a three. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice score. Bucket perfectly executed. That's a nine simple run. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. High post screen. Gave it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Let's check in with Erin Andrews. She's got in score for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, if you have a great post play, you got a chance to really to win. Back to the live action we go. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Goes up for two. He shows the sweet touch. That's 13 on answer. They come with a double team to stop it. Steele on the dribble gives it up. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. He'll go to the line. He hits the first. Drained it. 
Nothing but nylon, MBN. Moving it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He drains the shot. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points. It doesn't matter. Doesn't go. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. down court pass they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to our job of packing it in defensively yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass look at that spacing Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? It's crazy in here, Brad. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. He tries the three ball. He's money with the shot. How about this? There's the trap. Defense giving some room. Sets the screen for his teammate. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. How about an instant replay? Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He intercepts it. Almost lost a basketball. Looking for a good shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. On the outside. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He shoots from the elbow. 
great shot. Watch the replay coming up. Shot clock is dead. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Puts up a prayer. Off the rim and no good. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Syracuse showed vast superiority tonight in this blowout. After a game like that, it's hard to believe that these two teams were...